Dota Underlords is the newest game in a burgeoning genre, one that could threaten the likes of MOBAs and even Battle Royales. That's right, Auto Chess. But what the F is that? Welcome back to Higher Level Gaming, I'm Rob, and it's actually not chess, as you might be thinking. Well, not really anyway, but you do play on a traditional chess board as the battle map. The game was popularized and likely invented in the Dota 2 arcade, which is very similar to a custom game mode creator like Forge in Halo series you might be more familiar with. Well, the newest one to release is Valve's take on it, and it's called Dota Underlords. It's basically just an official release of Auto Chess by Valve, whereas the original mod was the one that everyone was playing, and the creators of that have actually gone on to make their own game. I've been playing Dota Underlords, and it's pretty fun. So in Auto Chess, you actually don't play the role of a legendary hero, you play the role of a merchant, and your job is to hire heroes to work for you. You actually amass an army of them, and you can even level them up by collecting duplicates of the same hero. Turn by turn, you deploy more of your troops, by purchasing experience and leveling up until you get a maximum of 10. Using these 10 slots, you can use different heroes of classes and races that enhance each other's abilities and create synergies. This is all sort of similar to Magic the Gathering or other card-based games, like Hearthstone. The big difference here is the auto part. Instead of actually deciding how the heroes work in the fight, you simply choose the positioning and composition of your team, assign loot, and that's it. The fighters do the rest of the work themselves while you sit back and eat Doritos or something. Flame hot nacho. I'll admit that there's a pretty big learning curve, and for the first couple hours, I had no idea what I was doing. But on the back end, there's some really fun inventory management and economy stuff that's kind of like Civ or the Rome series, and I really like that kind of thing. It really scratches that strategic itch, but there's also the whole Dota aspect, which is heroic fighters who you build teams with for game-winning strategies. Not quite a card game, not quite a board game, or a hero MOBA, Auto Chess bends genres and is exceptionally good at it. I'm actually predicting now that Auto Chess is going to become huge, just as big as the Battle Royale craze. Dota Underlords has already outpaced other popular games by Valve, and has left Team Fortress in the dust as this article puts it. According to Steam's concurrent player stats, there were more than 170,000 people playing Dota Underlords on the day of launch. At the time of the writing of this article, which was June 23rd, the player count peaked at 202,000. The article goes on to state, Those numbers have already blown some of Valve's biggest games out of the water. Team Fortress 2's all-time concurrent player record is just under 123,000, while Artifact floundered to a peak of around 60,000, and currently boasts a 24-hour peak of just 179 players. Which is pretty freaking pathetic, right? And Artifact, if you don't know, is also kind of a spin-off of Dota, that Valve tried to do to compete with Hearthstone, but they just failed miserably. Oh, and then there's mobile too, because there's a bunch of people playing this on mobile, so if not popular on Twitch, this is going to be a genre that's making tons of money for tons of people. Not to mention that this game just released less than a week ago, and Auto Chess is one of the most popular games point blank now on Steam with the Dota 2 mod and Underlords combined. And already on Twitch even, the game Team Fighter Tactics, or Team Fight Tactics, which is the League of Legends version of Auto Chess, is in the top 10 consistently when I go on there. So they're really doing well for themselves, because of course League of Legends, like, they have to have their own if Dota has it, right? 
Dota Underlords has also begun to ascend the list of most popular games streaming now. Drodo, the original developer of the Dota 2 Auto Chess mod, are apparently giving Dota permission for Underlords, probably in exchange for Dota staying off their backs for going and starting their very own Auto Chess that just released a couple weeks ago. Drodo's standalone game is simply called Auto Chess and available now on mobile so you can take this game on the go with you. Best yet about the Auto Chess genre is that it's a lossless transition as opposed to say like Fortnite. On a phone you have a distinct advantage in Fortnite. You lose your ability and skill in the game from playing on either a controller or on PC and you also can't see as far and the graphics are also downgraded quite a bit. In Auto Chess you really lose none of your skill or advantages in the move from PC to phone. It's easy to get into and play with simple clicks. Now if you're anything like me, you're probably intimidated by this kind of game because I know that I was always afraid to try Dota out and I did eventually a little bit but it never really stuck for me. These games are a lot more streamlined and kind of simplified and the matches aren't quite as gruesome for me. It's pretty easy to get your hands on whereas with Dota it's way deeper I think. So even if you've never tried a MOBA game out before, you might actually enjoy this. I've been able to get a hold of it and have a ton of fun and I was never interested in trying out games like Dota. The competition is definitely heating up though as even Epic Games has decided to get into the ring by snatching Drodo Studios' auto chess game for the Epic Game Store and I'm sure they paid them a hefty sum for that exclusivity deal. We definitely should keep our eyes on auto chess and this genre as it expands and becomes more popular because only more people are going to find out about it and try it out, and it's really easy to get addicted. What do you guys think? Have you tried out an auto chess game? Is this the first time you're ever hearing of it? Do you actually play auto chess? If you do, I don't know why you watch this video. <laughs> Whatever it is though, share with me in the comments below. But above all else guys, don't forget to have a great day and go play some video games.